I wonder if it echoes. Echo! 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 You shouldn't be here. What? Salutations gamers, I am Oneyu and welcome back to another episode of Mail Time. Last episode we started our adventure as a male scout and we met quite a few interesting characters. Kiki is kind of my favorite with all his sass, but we're still trying to figure out who this mysterious Greg person is. So let's hop into Mail Time. I figured out how to get my controller working and let's deliver some more mail. Guys, my controller's working. All right, let's hop back in. I'm so excited. I love that I've got my controller working. <gasps> Look at this. Yay. Okay, wait, I got to figure out. Okay, so camera, jump, and then hold. Perfect. To interact is going to be circle. Handbook is triangle. Oh, squares to sit. Oh, so cute. Okay, perfect. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to get used to moving the camera. All right, so what do we need to do? We have three envelopes up here. So if I go triangle, can I, can I change that? Oh, wait, no. Oh, dear. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Okay. So we have Greg. For Kiki from Egbert. Okay. For Daisy from Cedar. We know Cedar, but we don't know Daisy. And those are our badges. I I don't need those up there the whole time. Okay. I noticed something when I was editing that I can hop up here and there's a hole in here. Oh, there's somebody in there. Hello. Hi. Can I not do anything with you? Oh, I can't. Oh. Anything up there? Oh, I thought there was going to be something cool in there. Oh, well. Maybe it has to do with something later. Okay. Oh, I still can't get over how cute this game is. It is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay. I wish the camera would just kind of follow my character, which it was, like, fixed. Okay, so circle. Perfect. Hi. Scram, kid. I'm busy. Unless you've got something for me, don't bother me. See, I love Kiki and his sass. You've got mail. <laughs> Correspondence from your loyal tenant, Egbert. Who? Squirrely looking fella. Uh, feller, I should say, instead of fella. Feller. <laughs> <clears throat> he requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. Uh, what? <laughs> it's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, um, okay. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaints. Why? Um, shouldn't you be invested in the well-being of your tenants? Kid, I'm invested in my investments. Property. Capital. Wealth. As long as they pay their rent, I could care less. Isn't it couldn't care less? Eh? Could care less suggest you care at least a little bit. You're running me around in circles. Go run in circles elsewhere. Sorry, every time I see the word elsewhere, I think of uh, Skyrim. Well, Skyrim, but Elder Scrolls. Or Khajiit. Khajiit living elsewhere. <laughs> and he's a cat. <laughs> you want a letter to deliver? Here, it's for Egbert. Scurry along. Shoo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dear Scout, congrats. You've earned the bureaucrat patch with love. Male Scouts, woo! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I can't. <laughs> I'm curious if I can make it a fixed camera. Hold on. One eternity later. All right. I don't know if any of that helped, but I tried doing where it was just locking on the character and it was not good. Okay. Let's talk to Cedar. I like your backpack. Do you have any special stuff in there? Yes. The most special stuff, actually. I've got some top secret items in here. Ooh, can I see? No, sorry, that would be a breach of privacy. But I'll have you know I'm the gnome trusted with delivering these documents safely. Wow. So you're a spy? Nope, I'm a male scout. Sure, sure. Good cover story. So I'm supposed to deliver mail for you, but I don't know who. Oh, wait, we have to go back to our friend Egbert. There he is. I'm coming. Woo. So cute. That cat's going to get what's coming to him sooner or later. Ooh, we're angry. Please don't fight my landlord. <laughs> How do you respond? Something about how he's a big capitalist egghead. <laughs> oh, and he gave me this letter. Oh, your complaint has been noted. We are looking into it until further notice. He didn't read the letter, did he? Uh, I don't think so. Ugh, unbelievable. You know, back in my day, we had manners. Did you? Me? Well, no. I was quite the impressive bad boy. Oh, I bet you were, Egbert. <laughs> if I do say myself. Oh, dear heavens. Annie, I just remembered. Our anniversary is today. Ooh. Annie's your partner, I'm guessing? I got so caught up in all this that I let it slip again. Yep, sounds about right. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She kind of looks like a hedgehog. She's over at the farm with Daisy. Oh, we have to find Daisy. Sure. And please don't... <laughs> and please don't let her know about all of this. No problem. Be back in a jiffy. Ooh, dear Scout, congrats. You've earned the Scout of the Day patch with love, male scouts. Okay, where are we going? I don't know. Let's explore. Woo, let's go. Oh, and I, I hit a thing. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we could go up there. Okay, I have it so like if I do this, if I look off to a certain direction for a short amount of time, it'll yoink me back, which I, I don't know if I like it. Let's, okay, so if I do this... It shouldn't go back. No. Okay, perfect. Shut it off for now. Let's go down here. Whee! Look at all these cute mushy rooms. There's somebody down here, too. Are those flies? They're just, like, hanging. Woo! Woo! Ah! 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 Woo! Oh, no, I can't see. Ah! <laughs> oh, I fell. Ooh, dear Scout, congrats. You were in the takeoff patch. Woohoo! I don't know what I did to do that, but it was nice. Oh, you're like a little bat. Shut up. You're so cute. Ooh, look, a male Scout. Oh, her name's Toph. I'm such an energetic specimen that, tell me, Scout, what's Male Scout Handbook Rule 72? That's easy. If the sender no longer wishes the sent mail to be delivered, the postage item must be rapidly destroyed by means of fire. If no fire is possible in the area, stomping on the postage item is also acceptable. Did I get it? Heck if I know. You seem convincing to me. 
<laughs> Can I ask what all your baskets are for? I'm a mushroom collector. Or, well, experience of mushrooms collector. I don't want to have them. I just want to see them, sketch them, have a little taste, and then move on. Do you only eat the edible ones? All mushrooms are edible. It's a mindset thing. I don't think that's how it works. Agreed, that's not how this works. <laughs> this is not how this works. Please do not eat mushrooms that you find in the wild. D just don't. No. <laughs> but you've managed to live this long, I guess. <laughs> I don't suppose you have a fun little side quest for me here. No, no side quest. No, sorry. Aw, shucks. Instead, I have a mushion. Mushion? Mushion. What's a mushion? Oh, it's a mushroom mission. <laughs> oh my god, I've never done a mushy on before. What do I have to do? Look at me, Oneyu. I'm looking at you. What am I missing? Mushrooms? Arms? <laughs> the answer I was looking for were samples from all the unique mushrooms in the area. But sure, you're not wrong. Because... Toph is a bat. Hey, she has wings. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All you've shown me is you've got work and eyes. Anyways, this area, the Grumblewood Grove, is great for mushroom growth. And I want to experience them all. But I'm not as good at sampling them as I am at consuming them. That's where you come in. With your unique skills at finding and delivering mail, you're perfect for the job. Does that make me a mycologist? Am I saying that right? A mycologist too? Once you collect enough samples, I'll tell you about the first three and we'll go from there. The amethyst deceiver is a purple mushroom that likes swampy soil. Ooh, the amethyst deceiver. Ooh, it's probably around here somewhere nearby. Then we have the purple pinwheel. It's a purple mushroom with a particular shape. Is it shaped like a pinwheel? You'll know what I mean when you see it. It's almost like a flower or a jellyfish. Okay. Lastly, you can look for the indigo milk cap which is probably more blue than indigo. Okay. It likes nutrient-rich soil, so most likely it'll be near vegetables and other growing things. There you go, Scout. Now be on your way. Oh, okay. See you in a bit. So cute. What's this? Oh, uh, is that a It's like a hat like mine. Oh, I'd like to change my hat. Of course. Oh, shut the front door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why can't I? No, I want the green one. Why can't I not select the green one? There we go. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, can I collect different ones? I'll stick with my original, but it seems like we might be able to get different ones. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, look at the flowers. The flies just, like, hovering around are interesting. This is, I feel like flies are much faster than that. Okay, I see a pin. Ooh, is this one of the mushrooms? Oh, wait. Do I have to, like... Oh, oh, there's a sample. Oh, wait, why does it say time zero? Am I just going to keep bouncing? Oh, yeah, it just says mushroom sample. That's weird. It said zero at the bottom, so I was confused. Okay, let's... Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Okay. I was hoping to go in here. Okay. Is this dynamite? Shh. It does. It says TNT. <gasps> There's a bomb? What? Is 
this an outhouse? What's... No, it's just like a crate. Okay. Can I go in the water? Oh, I can. Oh, it's not very deep. Cute. Hello. Look this cute little, like, paper hat. But it's a boat. Oh, there's more over here. Well, there's like a little house. Can we go in it? I want to like go in these little areas. These are so cute. So cute. I will never get over how cute and adorable this game is. Get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo! Ugh. I gotta learn how to jump that better. Okay. Ooh. Cabbages. My cabbages. <gasps> Ladybugs. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> My cabbages. They're ladybugs. Oh, do we have to go find more ladybugs? Because I found one. I wonder if you're missing a couple. Look at this cute little all black one with the red spots. You guys are so cute. I can't. And there's carrots. It's like nobody around here, though. Hello. Oh, there's somebody up there. Hello, excuse me. Hi. Are you Daisy? You look like you're supposed to be Daisy. Oh yeah, because that's probably Annie. Hi! Hi yeah. Daisy's my name, Runnin's my game. What's up? Not much, how are you? Actually, can we have a little chat? Sure, what's up? I've seen you running around town. I know some of my kids take a shine to you. Yeah, your kids are really cool. Who's Daisy's kids? Oh, maybe Cedar is one of Daisy's kids. Oh. <laughs> Good job birthing him. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I was wondering. My kids never show me their drawings anymore. I think they might be embarrassed. Or maybe they don't think... Uh, or maybe they think I won't like them. But I miss looking at their drawings. Words can't express how proud I am of them. Aww. If you happen to get any of their drawings, have one. Please, could you give them to me? Daisy, this is the cutest thing I have ever heard. And as a matter of fact, I have a drawing for you right here. Oh, ooh, look, it's a coin. Isn't this that coin Kiki has? I'm not sure. Did Cedar draw this? Yep. She got that special coin from Kiki to start a collection. <gasps> oh, how kind. I'm glad Cedar has someone to share her coin passion with. We should invite Kiki over for tea sometime as a thank you. Thanks so much for bringing this drawing to me. I'm going to pin it up right away. Please bring any other drawings you find on your way. So Cedar has siblings. Oh, so it's not that Cedar gave me something i just the game told me that i had to go see her next okay okay <gasps> we're playing tic-tac-toe so cute oh she's just waving at me you're so cute annie hello dear i don't believe i've seen you around here before care to join us for a cup of tea oh no sorry i'm on the job thanks for the offer though the name's Annie. Nice to meet you. My name is Oneyu. I'm a Mail Scout. Today is my very first day. Wonderful. I have a note from your smitten squirrel. Oh, you came all the way from the village? Bless you, honey bun. Okay, Annie's my new favorite. I love her. Oh, 
Schnookums was wondering, for no particular reason, of course, which of these gift ideas would you want most? Aww. He is still so dedicated to impressing me year after year. He's gone and tied himself in knots over something that could be so simple. There must be something on his mind. He told me not to tell you. Oh, malarkey. Tell you what. You tell me what's going through his mind, and I'll give you one of my tried and tested pastry techniques. Ooh. It's kind of against our code, but it would help Egbert out in the long run. And helping is in the male scout code. So, deal? Deal. So, it's nothing that juicy, sadly. Apparently, Clarence has been bothering him by being noisy and such. Oh, I could have guessed. Egbert always gets so irritable when he's got something on his mind. Same. My husband's the same. You want to know what always calmed the bad boy right down? I'm listening. That cool, intimidating, tough man loves wood carving. I bet Clarence would know where to find some good wood. They must be able to see everything from up there. So, what if Clarence were to gift Egbert a nice piece of wood to carve? It would take his mind off of things. Oh, and what a lovely gift of a handcrafted labor of love would make. Let's just say that was a hint. I think I've got it all. Wait, what was it again? Let me write it down for you, hun. Just deliver this note to Clarence. Aye, aye, Graham Graham. Don't call her Graham Graham. She's a lovely woman. Oh my gosh, she's my favorite. Straight my favorite now. Love her. Okay. Anything cute back here? Oh, yeah, there's something up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of rock looking thing. What is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, aquamarine crystal. Ooh, not for delivery. Apparently this gives you protection during battle. Excuse me, I have to... What? What? Hey. Oh, a piece of wood. I have that now. Okay, let's go back down this direction. Or wait, can we go this way? Oops, oops, I found a leaf. Oops, I found a leaf. I'm not the best at this yet. What's this down here? Anything cute down here? Hmm? No. Wait, can I not get through this fence? Oh, I don't think I can. There's like a hole in it. Maybe I can... Oh, oh. Come on. Okay, so I can jump. There, oh. There we go. I was like, I should be able to get in here. Ooh, there's a bicycle. Cute. I'm just gonna tromp around the flowers. Who goes on a path? Not me. Where are we? Immediately get lost. Oh wait, no, this is the beginning. Oh, wait, the car's around here somewhere. I think. Right? Isn't the car around here somewhere? I think. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's a pink mushroom. That's a pink mushroom. Yes. Oops. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. Get on this one. Oh, don't get... Okay. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Excuse me! Hello? Wow! Oh, well! I wonder if it echoes. Echo! 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 
You shouldn't be here. Why? <laughs> yeah. Ribbit. Are you a froggy? You can talk, right? Ribbiting is talking. <laughs> Oops. I mean, Ribbit. Who are you? Names are irrelevant. Think of me as he who controls the worms. Ribbit, do you want to hear a secret? <laughs> okay, funny well voice. Tell me your very legitimate, totally real secret. Did you know Sox's antenna aren't real? I don't know who Sock is. It looks like a caterpillar, maybe? It's a replica glued to their head. Their real one fell off in a skiing accident? That's some niche knowledge. How did you know that? The worms whisper their secrets to me. Ribbit. Cool. Tell the worms I said hi. Will do. Nice. Okay, well, bye-bye, voice. Ribbit. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Very interesting. Okay. Oh, look, see, there's another... Oh, there's a ladybug up here. I bet you we're going to need to find ladybugs. Okay. So there's one in the teapot and there's one up here. N noted. Okay, let's go back up. Let's fly. Whee! Oh, I can get up there. I wonder how I do that. Hmm. Hmm. I see a bun bun up there, too. It's probably one of Daisy's kids. But how does one get up here? Oh, oh! You know, just immediately fall down. <laughs> I can get back up there. I, I got up there once. I can do it again. <laughs> just give me a minute. I'll get there. <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait. I want to... I want to play with this. So cute. So stinking cute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's another ladybug, isn't it? Okay, we're definitely going to be finding ladybugs at some point. That's three ladybugs we've already found. And we're not even on a mission to find ladybugs. Hi! We have rain glasses. Snowdrop. Whoa! Oh, hello. What's going on? You have. Your mom, Daisy? She's not close by. Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. They make me feel so excited. Did you know that stars are really, really far away? But with a tele telescope... Stop a telescope. You can see them as if they're very close. Isn't that cool? For sure. It's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars. There was a me a meteor I was trying to see. Oh, meteors are like stars that are flying. Did you know that? No, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. Turns out I was swinging it a bit too much, and before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are really far away. Can you help me fix it? Not a problem. It looks like the lens is broken. It's the big of, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it's the bit of thick glass inside the telescope. Oh, I know what part you mean. So the lens from a pair of glasses would work. Yeah, that could work great. Okay, well, I did see some around, but I don't really remember where. It was either near Kiki or Donna. <gasps> we haven't met Donna yet. Looks like a snail. Don't worry, Snowdrop. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Oneyu. Oh, please don't tell my mom. 
wouldn't dream of it. Cute. Oh, it is broken. Look at that. It's broke. Okay. You know what I see over there? I see... Oh, there's, there's the truck. Down there. Okay. What I see over here, though, is somewhere where I can go. Oh, there's not... Oh, okay, never mind. Well, I thought there was. Do we have all three that we're looking for? Yeah, we do. We have all three samples. Okay, let's see if we can get back. Oh, I didn't even notice this little workbench here. This is cute. Let's see if we can get back to Toth. Where was Toth? I feel like Toth was somewhere. Oh no, they were in the other side. That's right. They weren't down in there. They're on the other side over there. Yeah, they're down over here. We haven't gone up here yet. I think we maybe collected something from over here. Yeah, there's like a bottle cap or something. Ooh. Hey, Toph. All right, Toph. Here's a bunch of samples. Ooh, splendid. I will reward and motivate you with a mushroom fact. Mushrooms are from the kingdom of fungi. Ooh, is that where you come from? <laughs> I wish. No, it's a way of organizing them. Yeast is also a fungus. Oh, I didn't know that. When you bake bread, the yeast eats the sugar in the dough and makes gas with it. I did know that, but I didn't know it was a fungi. That's what makes bread airy and bubbly. Isn't that amazing? I guess. Ah, don't worry. This next batch of mushrooms is quite exciting. Can you look for the red cage? This one is really striking. Okay. It looks like, well, a red cage and has all these flies around it and smells kind of bad. Ooh. I've already looked around the swamp, but it's not in this area. The scarlet elf cup looks like a pink cup with red on the inside. Ooh. It likes to grow in shaded spots, so maybe look around between walk, wa walks, rocks, or between lots of plants. They can really stand out against all of the green plants. The parent wax cap is a green mushroom that likes to grow in bunches. It's known to be a bit small and slimy. Apparently, it likes high places near moving water. Do you think you'll be all right with that? Yeah, no problem. See you later. Ugh, I'm loving this. Okay, so we got that done. Let's go talk to Clarence. And then, oh, how am I gonna get back up there? Uh, let's find Clarence. Oh, see, we're back over here now. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I, I kind of know what's up now. Ooh, wrong direction. This way. I kind of know what's up now. I got this. I got this. I'm getting used to my map. Oh no, that's the truck. There were some mushrooms over here though. I don't know if it's one of the ones that I need. But there's like this little... Yeah! Which one was this one? Oh, it's that pink one with the red on the inside. Okay, so I knew there was these guys over here. Go me. Okay. 
Oh. I could have talked to him. I'll talk to him later. We're on a mission to find Clarence. Mm -hmm. I love this music. There's supposed to be glasses around here. What is that? Is that the cage one? Oh, it is! Woo! Hold on, can I like... Yeah. Oh, it does have flies around it. But there's supposed to be... Glasses around here? I don't see any. We need to get back up there. Oh, I remember. I remember. Okay, and then we go up here. Then we go over here without falling off. And then... Oh! <laughs> We'll try that again, shall we? <laughs> oh, there's literally somebody right there. Did I not see them before? Were they not there before and they just now showed up? Or am I just completely blind? Okay, let's try this again. I think what I need to do is I just need to go like this. Yeah, just forget the little step. Hey, Clarence. What's crack a lacking? I love him. Do you, <laughs> you ever going to run out of opening lines? Maybe. No promises. What have you been up to? <laughs> you first. All right. As you say, boss. <laughs> been jamming and pecking. <laughs> Slamming my head against some wood. I really dig wood. Like the tree kind. How do you dig wood? Dig, as in I like it. Basically, I love woodpecking. I like shaping wood with my beak face first. What are we talking about again? Ah, a letter, yes. <laughs> Ta-da! Here it is. From Annie? You really took the scenic route, didn't you? Well, let's see here. Egbert likes wood carving? Shh! Yeah, say it louder for the critters in the back. Oops, sorry. But that's wild. He digs wood too? Epic. Oh, Scout, hold on. What? I'm having a power thought. I know just the thing for wood carving. There's an apple tree around here. I'm pretty sure he have what he wants. It has the best wood. See if you can grab some sticks from near it and bring it back here. Wait, how many do you want? Because I already have one. Scout! There you are. It's me. It is. And what's more... I got the goods. Or should I say, what? <laughs> See, I can tell that it's funny, but somehow I don't feel like laughing. Oh. They can't all be zingers, pal. That's just how it goes sometimes. I suppose. Well, anyways, here it is. Let's take a good look at this tiny timber. Soft enough to carve, hard enough to hold small details. Even wood grain. Yep, this is a top-notch log right here. Really? Yep. Egbert's gonna dig this unlike anything he has ever dug before. I'd better bring it to him quick then. Time to put pedal to the metal. I have no pedals, nor metals. That's not true. We have a bottle cap. We have some metal. Aluminium. <laughs> oh, well, then delivering this wood will have to do. Good luck, little buddy. I really like Annie, but I also really like Clarence and, and Kiki's. 
I like Kiki's sass. I like all these characters. Okay, what am I doing? I'm flying. Whee! Oh, and mystery person in the well. Like, what? Okay, I'm hitting a bush. This is Egbert, right? Yeah. Did you get any word from Annie? What did she say? Did she reveal what she wanted? Oh, I hope it wasn't too obvious. Don't you think Annie might appreciate something handmade? A labor of love, if you will. Oh, lordy lord, I hadn't even thought about that yet. Oh, no, will she think I'm lazy if I just buy her something? I think she doesn't mind at all. She's lovely. She really is. I love her. Isn't she? I'm a lucky man. She's stuck with me this long. You know, on my way back, I was taking a stroll through the woods and I found this beautiful piece of wood. Clarence said it'd be perfect for wood carving. Ha! Sure. What would Clarence know about wood carving? He's a woodpecker. They're actually quite the avid woodworker themselves. I'll be the judge of that. Hand it over. Soft and supple enough to carve. Hard enough to hold small details. A fine and even wood grain. It's gorgeous. Clarence really knows their wood, huh? It's too pretty, though. I don't know if my old hands would do it any good. Do you think this could make a good anniversary gift? I think you'd make a wonderful anniversary gift out of it. No matter the craftsmanship or technique, your care will always show through. I think I know what I want to make for Annie. Thanks for your help, Oneyu. Before I leave you to it, any chance you know where I could find Greg? Greg? Now that's a name you don't hear a lot nowadays. A real old timer of the forest. Haven't seen the old slugger around in a bit. A slugger? Who is he a slug? He usually comes and goes as he pleases. Wouldn't know where to point <laughs> wouldn't know where to point you with any more certainty than a guess. Oh, well, then I'll just keep asking around. I'll deliver this letter eventually. Oh, I'm sure you will. And with that. I think we're going to be done with this episode. Alrighty gamers, that is it for this episode of Mail Time. What do you guys think? I'm thoroughly enjoying using my controller over mouse and keyboard, so I'm going to use that for future episodes. I think I have a new favorite character and it might be Annie. She's super cute and she said the word honey buns. So adorable. Love her. I'm enjoying Toph's little missions to find the mushrooms. That has been a lot of fun. And I'm curious. I keep finding all those ladybugs. So I really want to find the person who's going to give me the quest to go find those ladybugs. If you are also enjoying Mail Time, please hit that like button below. I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment of your favorite character so far. And if you want to know when future episodes come out, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you along for the journey. I hope you have a most wonderful day wherever you are in the great big world. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.